other brand new things that you could expect for the 2024 models. I think that's a huge step up. I think that's gonna give a completely different look to anything out there. You're telling me that's gonna be 50% more. Significant. That's a, that's a huge change. Yeah. It looks better right. than good. the video today we're gonna be going over all the brand new yes all the brand new 2024 models from indian motorcycles so in this video we're gonna be highlighting all the brand new things that you could expect for the 2024 models which should be in your near by dealership within this month or so we're gonna go over every almost every different bike on here and then we're gonna do a separate segment i want to do a separate video focusing just on the elite because that's that's going to be our main focus talk so that's going to be its own video if you want to watch that afterwards um but let's go over all the new stuff that we got for 2024 we're going to start with the indian ftr and 100 percent carbon r edition amazing um so indian matched up with the american brand motocross brand 100 percent um and they did this beautiful thing so as you can see here in the pictures we got some candy blue carbon it looks absolutely sick i love all the colors um clean clean bike super cool um what do you what do you, what do you think about the the blue one the candy carbon <clears throat> excuse me i think that's a huge step up i think that's gonna give a completely different look to anything out there that's available from the factory number one from anywhere so I mean, oh, just nice. the fact that, I mean, that's, that's, people pay extra for that. Yeah. It doesn't come on a bike that you pick up right from the dealership and right off. That's, yeah, that's. We're, we're putting carbon parts on my bike right now. <laughs> right. So, I, I mean. And this, this comes from factory. Right. It's coming from factory. How do you, you can't really get better than that. I mean, listen, I think they're, they're, they're finally taking those steps forward. Some of the things that we spoke about, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Maybe not exactly what we spoke about, but they're taking steps forward to bring the line up to par with the competitors. Yeah. You know, and to make it that much more appealing. I mean, when it comes to the whole carbon thing, I mean, I don't think Indy's really competing with nobody else out there. No. I mean, that, 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 the, the FTR carbon edition has been out for a past maybe two or three years, if I'm not mistaken. And it's, it's, it's been a hit, I think, in the Indian lineup. It's a great bike. It's really fun to ride. Um, it's, it's cool. It's a, all around type of bike and it's it's awesome um but this candy blue carbon edition is just bad dude it's sick i it's, mean the, the, the bike comes with olens from factory carbon edition from factory it's what more can you ask for it, it's it's an awesome bike um so that's that's pretty cool um alongside you're also gonna have the regular ftrs as well the sport um new colors there i'm gonna be looking up the pictures for you guys to see right here I do like the accents on the blue wheels on the FTR, yes. the red wheels. That's pretty cool, um, especially this one right here. Yeah, um, that's gorgeous <laughs> with the Olin's uh, gold cartridges in the front. That looks super sick. Um, let's go dive into the Sport Chief, yeah. right? Sport Chief, one of my favorite, if not my favorite bike on the Indian lineup. It has to be the Sport Chief. Um, Sport Chief looks amazing. Um, nothing new on the Sport Chiefs, just just colors. Uh, for the most part, all bikes is going to be all different colors uh, for, for, for this uh, 2024 <laughs> year, except for the FTR, which you know, has a blue uh, combo, has a blue carbon. Um, they did that with, like I said, with 100%. Uh, but the Sport Chief, nothing new. It's just different colors. Um, we got the black smoke, black Springfield, blue smoke, uh, sunset, red metallic um and sandstone smoke which i really like that white color right there what, what, what do you think about that that is again when you showed me that hands down probably the best looking one the the, the white looks really yeah, nice it yeah. just it makes it pop out really nice i love it really love really it. really cool i love it Listen, i feel like colors can make adding those colors changing different colors oh yeah big difference yeah yeah and they're they're, they're kind of getting away now from all the matte colors, so they they are offering a few more colors, which is awesome. Thank you, Indian, because uh, I'm I mean the matte colors are cool, but it's like every bike is 
every bike had the same paint. It's like no, right. this was something different. Matte so, or black or something dark. Yeah. So the fact that the, you know they're at, they're they're offering more different colors now, which is awesome. Nothing brand new on the on the on the Chief Bobber, uh, the Chief. Uh, dark horse so the same thing more colors that blue color is really nice as well I really like the way that looks yeah that's sharp 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 looking color really 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 nice what is that uh, spring oh it's called Springfield blue smoke and you know what I th I, don't, I honestly think well, listen pictures as good as they are don't always do the colors justice so I guarantee you that blue is gonna pop even better yeah in person yeah for sure um, the scout uh, nothing new on the Scout either. It's just got some colors. That's it. So, Scout's a cool bike. Um, Scout Bobber as well. We got the regular Scout. Scout Rogue, which is the one that I would prefer because it comes with the different handlebars. It comes with the little cow fairing. Well, the little sport fairing at that. It looks really, really nice. Yeah, I like that. Sharp, too. right? Very sharp. That's a, that's a fun little bike to ride around. Um, what else do we have? The Scout 60, uh, nothing new on there. We spoke about the FTR, uh, Indian Springfield. How you, what do you think about the Springfield? Uh, it's is very... It, is it your cup of tea, not your cup of tea? It's not my cup of tea, but it's, it's a more nostalgic look. Classic. A classic look. Yeah. yeah. Like it, it, it's, listen, it's a sharp looking bike. Not for me, but I could definitely see it selling, um, yeah. the, very well. The, the, this is like, like... A heritage when it comes to Correct. Indian and I mean uh, when it comes to Harley. Yeah. Um, nice I mean, bike, classic. Is it my cup of tea? No, not it's not. It's not for me. Um, now the Indian Springfield Dark Horse. That's a that's a. You see you see the difference there. Though? Yeah, absolutely. Huge the dark difference. the Dark Horse dark is pretty nice. I like that. Again, gorgeous. I like. That. Listen, I'm a fan of the Springfield. I I you know, it it's. It's a badass looking bike. Yeah, and you're going to get a dark horse in two colors, which is going to be the black smoke and the sage brush smoke as well. So only two colors for the Springfield dark horse. Um, and then the regular Springfield, you're going to have two colors as well as a black metallic, titanium metallic, and then the bronze pearl metallic, silver quartz metallic. So just two tone bike. Pretty cool. Um, let's move on to the Chieftain. Chieftain looks really sharp. Nothing on the Chieftain. Um, colors, we have colors, that's it. Um, let's talk about, where's the Challenger at? Did I just skip over it? I, by the way, I am a fan of the Chieftain. I am a fan, I did have one, a Chieftain Dark Horse. You had a Chieftain? I did, I had a white one. Uh, it was white smoke, um, I don't know, it was like a flat white. It was a flat white, it was awesome bike. It's a nice bike. It, yeah, it's a very, very nice bike, it had everything I needed, uh, you know, I upgraded a couple things. Exhaust, obviously. Everybody mm -hmm. does that. Headlight. I did the, the power band speakers. And I told you how that worked just before. <clears throat> but it was an awesome bike. So if you're, you know, if that's the style you want, where you want it, the fender, the, the fairing mounted to the to the bars like that, yeah, it's a great bike, man. Talking about power band. Um, for this year, that's something that got upgraded. Is the power band system on the baggers. 100 watt power band audio speaker delivery an immediate increase in volume and clarity over the standard 50 watt speaker so i mean that's a that's a big gain right there uh power band audio's new bass boost tune uh makes the music come alive with deeper bass lines blah 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 uh, okay so everything results in 50 percent more bass when compared to the previous power band audio offering. So I, tell, I mean, if you're telling me that's gonna be 50% more, Significant. That's, a, that's a huge change. Yeah, that's huge. Um, that's pretty cool. And then you're also gonna have um, access to the equalizer, which we were just speaking about on your screen, which is awesome. Better sound. I, I honestly thought that um, the Indian audio sound like already sounded good. Yeah. I think it's a little bit louder than what I have on my Roguelite. Um, sure. so if you're telling me that, you know, I'll probably could get 50% better it's, than what it was. That's amazing then, yeah. you know, I don't yeah. really got to upgrade my system. Like if I'm not looking, if I'm not the type of person that wants a crazy audio system and I just want to upgrade it, you know, it's just. That, there's your answer right there. You're you know? getting it right from the start. Yeah, yeah. And with all, I mean, you look at the equalizer, you have a ton of adjustments there. Probably more yeah. than you'll ever even need, Theories, really. Yeah. 
So we get the Chieftain, the Chieftain Dark Horse, and then the Chieftain Limited. So three options for you to choose from when it comes to the Chieftain. Now when it comes to the Challenger, our probably our favorite part to talk about. We got the Challenger, the Challenger Dark Horse, the Challenger Limited, the Elite, and then we have, well, well that's basically a separate bike in their case, what they make. Um, but I really like that uh, two-tone white and black color right here. That's sharp. That's Very nice, sharp. right? That's really nice. And then for the colors, we're going to have that black metallic, black metallic with audio. So you can, so the audio is going to cost more money though. We spoke about the the audio. Yeah. It's going to cost more money if you want it. It's, it's not just, it's from factory, but if you want the upgrade, you got you to gotta pay more. Right. But it's weird because if you want the black metallic, and then it gives you an option of black, metal, uh, black metallic with audio, which is, okay. And then ghost white metallic, which is that white one. Um, sunset red, which is really nice as well. Um, and then we got the elite with that special, special paint job, which is our favorite paint job. Once again, we're going to do just a video, oh. just talking about the elite because it just deserves its own video. Um, Absolutely. but it, it, it looks really good. It does. It, it looks, looks better really good. than good. Um, there are some touches I read on here somewhere. Now I can't find the thing. I'm going crazy. But there are some uh, some finishes and touches that India did upgrade on the fairing now for the uh, Challengers. Um, I'm not sure about the Chieftain or not, but some components that are gloss now instead of just flat or all matte. flat or matte. You, there, there is a nice option to have them gloss. So I'll put some picture up right here so you guys can see that. So that that's a nice option going a different direction. Uh, but besides that, there's there's no really big huge improvements or changes to the design. Or anything else on the bikes performance wise either um i mean performance wise i feel like it's pretty hard to top right now <laughs> without going i mean uh, they've already is. water cooled is a huge step right it clearly makes a difference we've established that they've established that everybody knows yeah. it suspension yeah. from factory is another plus that indian yeah. had like hands down it's it's amazing yeah i mean you listen you could sit here and say oh why don't they do this this and that you still want to make the bike affordable you still yeah. want to have improvements and that are appealing to the eye and the buyer and, and a demographic, but at the same time, you don't want to make it unaffordable. You want to upgrade the suspension down the road, that's on you. Yeah. You want to do, but out of the box, it's ready to go. It's ready to go. It's that, a bad, so that, that, that's a great bad. thing about these Indian bikes that it's a bike that you buy and it's ready to go when it, when it comes to performance. And I'm talking about, if you're talking about the Challenger or the Sport Chief, I'm not talking about any other bike on, right. uh, on the lineup. Right. But the, the, these are performance-driven motorcycles that if you just want to buy it and go and have fun on a fun performance bike, those are, those are the bikes you do right there. And, and like I said, suspension is amazing, which is a plus. Um, and it's just the, the performance, the, the amount of torque that these bikes, uh, the power bandwidth, like it's just, it's, they're, they're, they're fun bikes to ride, man. They really are. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, it's pretty much it. I mean, we, we just wanted to just show you guys. We've been sitting on this for the past few days, almost a week. <laughs> I couldn't say anything because of the embargo. Uh, but I've just been looking over these pictures. Um, and hopefully I get the chance to get on some of these bikes this year. All so of them. All of them. Indian, if you're listening, I'm here. Indian. I'm here, Indian. So. Um, yeah. Uh, we're going to wrap this up because we got to... We're going to do a really deep dive into that Challenger video. So... Anything else from you, sir? And you being an Indian owner at that. I'm excited. I'm an Indian owner. You guys have seen my bike. My bike is done up, and I'm still equally as excited about these bikes coming out because it's just, it brings, I don't know, maybe it's just because we have creative juices going, but I'm thinking of ideas, what can be done, things to come, you know, especially we had a conversation yesterday about yeah. uh, more independent manufacturers coming up with upgrades for these bikes. So it's just another way of putting your touch on your Indian, yeah. whatever you choose, you know, what, what, whether it's the FTR or the, the Elite when we talk mm -hmm. about that. But overall, sick bike, can't go wrong with it. Awesome stuff. Um, if you guys are in the markets by yourself in the Indian right now, what bike are you looking at? What are you interested in looking at? And if you're, if, if you're making, if for some reason you're making a change from Harley Davidson into Indian. Let me know what you're riding right now, and, and and what is it about Indian that interests you, or has your mind shifting over to to, to, to this side of the pond? Um, that's actually.
content in itself. <laughs> what? No VS ever video. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride. Peace.